The Golden Globes it is again, you know, probably what we're most asked about. I think it's what I'm most asked about. Everything about it was a brilliant experience. It was just madness. You weren't going to go, were you? I wasn't going to go. No, I just thought it was a long way to go, and I thought the round trip would be a week. Um, uh, but then, um, yeah, everyone persuaded me, and it was. It, I was so glad of it. It was fantastic. <laughs> Genuinely, genuinely, we did not expect to win. They got us together at BBC America and they, and they had this little seminar, this little kind of summit where they told us that we weren't going to win, but it was very nice to be nominated and what to do and how to stand and what to look at and blah, blah, blah. Pick up time. We are aiming to gather at 2.45 and um, we've got two, two limos. Um, once everybody's in, we can just have a drink in the, in the ballroom and... Uh, who, uh, what happens if we win, which we won't, but what does happen? Have you practised your I'm so disappointed expression? It's this, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can get, seriously, if you can get BBC America in, that would be great for us. BBC I, I, would be I'll nice tell you what, me. if, yeah. if I I'll win, I'll mention you, yeah. but it's not going to happen, is it? Yeah, OK. On the way to the Globes now. It's nice to go out at quarter to three in the afternoon. Um, so yeah. Come on, come on! No chance. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna go out this side. I'll come yeah. up with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll all get out this side and then we'll get Ash out that side. Good luck, everyone. I'm switching off. Good luck. Good luck, Stephen. Live from the Starfield International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel, welcome to the 61st Annual Golden Globe Awards. I was like a kid in a sweet shop, just looking at all these people. I mean, I mean icons. I mean, everyone was there. Clint Eastwood, uh, Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise. I was the only one of the team that didn't make it to the Golden Globes, and I, I was gutted about that. My excuse was that I was doing filming a uh, movie, The Merchant of Venice, in Italy, with Al Pacino. But Al Pacino got the time off. He managed to get back, pick up his award. Because he's Al Pacino. When Martin and I got on the red carpet, there was this guy who's a journalist with one of the networks. He just went, guys, guys, he said, have you got a couple of minutes? And we were like, well, yeah, because we had hours. And, um, and then he went, who are you? Like that. And we just pissed ourselves. That was the best moment of my time at the Golden Globes. And I thought, well, that's, that just sums us up. It's like we've yeah. been invited to the ceremony without having a chance of winning, and that's all right. We have no chance, so I can really relax and just enjoy the evening. And the Golden Globe goes to... I have to admit, I didn't think we had a chance. The Office. If you watch the uh, footage, I think there's not even a camera on our table. They can't even get shots of us because even the camera people are being told, don't bother with the English. If you look at Hollywood, basically everyone's just about the same amount of white teeth, tan, bright eyes, all about the same height. They fit lovely on a, a widescreen. And we went up to get ours, and it was a ridiculous motley crew. Different shapes and sizes, different species, um, I think. I'm not from these parts. <laughs> from a little place called England. We used to run the world before you. Um... <laughs> when we won the first one, that was ridiculous. And then the second one, it, it was just crazy. Two bookends. Excellent. Um, you need the set. One looks, you know. Um, <laughs> It's such a badly designed award, the Golden Globe. It looks like sort of something you'd win at a judo tournament. Yeah. And they'd put it in the uh, cabinet in one of those leisure centres. But it is good for showing up your ass. <laughs> it is great for showing up your ass if you need something to show up your ass. If you need a major TV award to show up your ass, Globe. Always go with the Globe. Uh, uh, hi. Just, uh, just, just went to the Golden Globes and, uh, well, we, um, we won to. Um, and uh, now we're just going back to the hotel. Brilliant. See you later. All mm. right. We thought it would be a, a cult hit tucked away on BBC Two in the summer 
at 10 o'clock. Rick, how many countries has it been sold to now? 60. 60? Yeah, count them. You do the math. All right. How many awards has it won? You've probably lost count, haven't you? I have. I haven't. <laughs> how many is it? 23. Oh, nice one. High five. Sweet. It was out of two, it was two out of two, we were up for two, we won two, so, oh, just at the old door of the limo. <laughs> oh, is that my man? Oh, thank you. We won two. The Globes was amazing, that was incredible, genuinely. It was surreal, it was exciting. Although I was stopped going through customs, because they said, what's that? And it was sort of, it was sort of wrapped in, you know, dirty laundry. And shoved up your arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> It showed up in the in the bag. Uh, they didn't find the one in my arse. <laughs> oh, nice one. Um, High five. <laughs>